I want to first thank the committee staff for their work with my office on this very important bill. Thank you very much. I will also be taking author's amendments as described on page 10 of the committee analysis. Thank you. Before I begin, please consider this question as I present this bill. If it had been shown in court that the coffee you were drinking now or earlier this morning was contaminated with toxic chemicals, wouldn't you want to know that? Sadly, in many instances, that happens often related to defective products and co environmental hazards due to courthouse secrecy, and the public oftentimes doesn't even find out until years later when many people have already been injured or even died. Senate Bill 1149, also known as the Public Right to Know Act, would prohibit factual information about dangerous public hazards from being hidden from the public through overly broad court protective orders and agreements to keep information about dangers a secret. In open society, court records are presumptively open to public inspection. Even in a dispute between private parties, a court's resolution of that dispute is a matter of public interest. This is especially true when a case involves a public danger, such as a defective product or environmental hazard. But courts repeatedly issue overbroad protective orders that keep discovery information secret and protect incriminating documents. And lawyers mutually agree to settlements and stipulated orders that prohibit disclosing the very facts that even prompted the case. Secrecy is sometimes necessary to protect personal information or legitimate trade secrets, but is grossly inappropriate when it clearly keeps information about ongoing dangers from the public. In very real way, it can threaten their health, safety, and even their lives. If signed, California would join several other states that have enacted similar anti-secrecy laws, including Florida, Louisiana, Montana, South Carolina, and Washington. Witnesses with me today will share exactly why this bill is critical, but I will just mention a couple of the quick examples to highlight the need for SB 1149. In the case of Purdue Pharma, the company told outright lies for many years regarding the safe dosage levels and likelihood of addiction from Oxycontin, which ultimately killed hundreds of thousands of people. These tragedies that touched far too many families across California and the nation was largely enabled through courthouse secrecy and the very tactics that this bill seeks to address. In the case of Cooper Tires, the company kept information secret regarding the tires not meeting industry standard safety features and keeping belts from separating. In the two decades before 2017, there were at least 362 deaths, 49 in California alone, and several dozen more people with paralysis, brain injuries, and other serious injuries like the loss of a limb. Everything related to these defective tire dangers was shielded from public scrutiny for over 20 years, two full decades. My office and the bill sponsors have shared with each of your offices a dangerous incidents list. Uh, the spreadsheet details these and many other examples of courthouse secrecy that have injured and taken the lives of far too many Californians. Members, so that no other family ever again has to bury their loved one as a result of this unacceptable courthouse secrecy, I hope you will support 1149 today. I have two witnesses with me today that will speak on the need and the importance of SB 1149, the right, Public Right to Know Act. Richard Zittrin, Professor Emeritus at UC Hastings, appearing on the behalf of Public Justice, and Lori Andrus, who served in leadership to the, to the Ensure Litigation Coordinated in Alameda County Super, Superior Court. And I believe they're both calling in, Mr. Chair. Thank you. 